Well, here on Glen Pass, and uh, time to head off. We got a storm going in here. And we just came from Ray Lakes down below. Greetings. Oh boy, here we go. Yep, you can see where we are. Baxter Pass Trailhead. It's one of the nasties. They call it the four nasties. I think this is numero uno. Yeah, 6,000 feet of elevation gain in six miles. <laughs> um, Baxter Pass, take one. making headway. I'm over 2,000 feet of climbing into this already. About 2,000 more for the day. We're just gonna climb to the 10,000 foot elevation. All right, more later. Second pre uh, second stream crossing so far. Very nice. Just passing through 9,000 feet, and uh, the foliage is just really dense, as you can see behind me and in front of me. <laughs> total bushwhack. So, wear long pants. Wow, it's smoggy down in the valley. Fires and stuff.
Well, we have good news and bad news. The bad news is it got into the 90s, but it probably got over 100 inside my pack because my gourmet cheese is separated, but they're chilling in the stream right now. That's the bad news. The good news is John came well prepared. Some um, English cheddar, some capicola, a couple different kinds of salami, sapresetto, and some prosciutto with olives and of course the obligatory fritos and some almonds. And red wine decanted last night. It's a 2016 Avensal, 41% Malvedre, 41% Zinfandel, 18% Malbec. This man knows his 2016. wine. 2016. From Temecula. Ah. And. Oh, and a new cup. I'm now in the Titanium hey. Club. <laughs> Finally. No more plastic. Sure, if that'll pick up with the filter. Very nice color. Check the nose here. To have that out here, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, medium. I'm getting a raspberry jam. Yeah, a little bit of cherry. Tongue. Yes, black cherry. Oh, it's, it's got a nice sweaty gym sock. Uh. <laughs> All right, so we got a little Gruyere, Swiss. Smoked aged cheddar. And smoked Gouda. We got the ghee and we got our It'll now be three cheese, cheesy potatoes. Oh yeah, that's how it's done. Double wall titanium. What was I thinking? It's plastic. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Cheese is in there. Oh, my God.
Baxter Pass, where I think we're at the last water watering hole on the way up, 10,680 on the Gaia contour line. So we camelled up here. We have about 1,600 feet remaining. Well, we just crested over 11,200. The trail is getting quite steep. It's at least a thousand feet per mile right now. 1,000 feet to go to the pass up yonder. This is the steepness of the last thousand feet. Well, there's a bowl there toward the west, but we're going up this to the north. That's why we came up. And again, there's Owens Valley. Alrighty, one of the nasties, Checkaroo. My feet are loving this after all of that talus and scree.
That's not going to last long. I must say, this rock shelf is very nice for that. Should have seen it earlier. We just slaughtered that charcuterie tonight. Yeah, we beat it up pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the charcuterie burrito. <laughs> on Glen Pass and uh, time to head off. We got a storm blowing in here. And then we just came from Ray Lakes down below. So third time somebody's a charm. John went ahead. I'll be catching up to him at Kearsarge Lake. Well, that's where I'm heading toward Bullfrog Lake, Kearsarge Pass. Yeah, see how it goes. Change of plans. We are going to hole up here in this tree cover. It gets pretty exposed between here and Bullfrog over the next mile or so. A lot of granite. Um, in the meantime, I'm enjoying this wonderful view of Charlotte Dome. You can see it out there. There's three other hikers nearby too, so we're all just kind of waiting it out here. Well, it's raining now. moving toward Forrester, sort of in a southwestern direction. And I'm right above Bullfrog Lake. And there's the Kearsarge Lakes watershed. I'll be heading toward Kearsarge Lake tonight. And as you can hear, it's raining very lightly. It's kind of refreshing. It's uh, got a nice little algae flavor. I'm getting a little it's like a shot of spirulina meets uh, some rotted seaweed. Very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I smell like I just, uh, I came out of the swamp. Wow, the swamp? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do a filtered water shower after this. Well, we're here with John and he's flanked by the Kearsarge Pinnacles, literally right behind us. So tell us about your beverage. 
Well, thanks to you, we have a nice candied orange. Yes, sir. And some bitters and simple syrup and some cherries and, of course, Maker's 46. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. Comes in a convenient two-pack. <laughs> Try not to make me laugh. Oh, wow. One of the best old fashions I've ever had. True cab confessions. So, John brought his own whiskey. Remember, I brought four and a half ounces, figuring I would, you know, give him more so I could slow his hike a little and try and keep up with him. Anyway, he let me drink the whole four and a half ounces. I'm screwed tomorrow. I'm screwed. You did it to yourself, brother. You did it to yourself. <laughs> it's been fun listening. It's been really fun listening to all the stories. Yeah. I still blame John for everything, though. He is, I, I am completely innocent. I didn't do it. Okay, yeah. the dueling froths here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a mochaccino. <laughs> well, we have our lake view here, Kearsarge, and uh, obscured over John's head are the Kearsarge minarets. Perfectly still. Crazy. <sighs> Thank you. Doing great. They are. Good job.
Well, that concludes another trip, kids. John's right behind me. I never thought I'd say Kearsarge and Glen Pass were easy passes relative to Baxter, but that is the case. That is the case. So I did, uh, we were able to summit Glen in about 48 minutes, and it took us uh, a little under an hour to do Kearsarge, both from the east side, I'm sorry, west side, so. Ah, those of you sitting at home watching me do this, you can do this. I just was telling the folks, I never thought I'd say Kearsarge and Glen were easy passes, but relative to Baxter, they are easy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's not one I want to repeat. <laughs> no time soon. All right. Well, we'll have more of the nasties coming your way at a later time. Yeah.